Hi guys, welcome back to the Precision Laser Instruments uh, YouTube channel. Um, this is the TVC Point Cloud Module Series. Uh, last time we were uh, in this project, we just got through the entire project registration, and now we're going to move on to georeferencing. So as of right now, as you can see in our coordinate system, uh, we are currently in 00, zero based upon our first scan stations. So that's our 00, zero coordinate, and we want to move this thing over to a state plane coordinate system. So on this particular site, we were using an R12i. Um, we shot in a bunch of control uh, as well as uh, some ground features. So if I go to my uh, folder here, I can drag and drop the job file over and import it into TBC just like normal. And now we can see up here is my control. We're in Pennsylvania South, and if I zoom extents, my point cloud is down here. So the goal is to get the point cloud from here to up on the state plane coordinates. So one of the ways we're going to do that is in our point clouds tab, we have what's called the georeference scan options. So in our georeference scans, we can see up here we have our scan stations. Now since these things are all registered together, it's all one large scan set, um, easy enough. Uh, and down here below, it's going to ask us the point ID and the scan point. So the point ID is the point up there uh, that's already georeferenced, or the point that we shot with the GPS. And then the scan point is the point in the point cloud that correlates to that. So one thing I like to do in the field, if I have targets available to me, is I'll shoot my targets in in the field and I'll mark them uh, as, you know, control point number 1000. And then the target, whenever I shoot it in in perspective, I'll call it T1000. This one, I didn't use targets. Or we don't have targets on this particular project. So these are a little bit different. Um, so here, what I like to do is I'm just going to generate uh, a, a secondary viewer. So I'm going to come here and create a new uh, vertical tab group. So here's my point cloud view on this side. Over here, I'm going to double click, zoom out, and then look at my data. And in my filter manager, I can tell it to show me the feature code. So I'll turn off the point IDs. Now, where I can start with this, is right here we have concrete pad sidewalk. So I know because I shot this out in the field and if I come over here to this location, there's my sidewalk and I shot in this corner. So if I click here, go to my point ID, click on that, click on that location that's going to give me my first location and it's going to give me my residuals. Now, naturally there's nothing to compare it to. So we have no idea whether or not that's going to work or not. So if I zoom out a little bit, we go to the next location. We have another corner of sidewalk here. So if I zoom out, look over here, I have another corner of a sidewalk. So click on that location, zoom in, click on that same corner location and you'll see here it'll give us our northing and easting residuals zoom out a little bit more I think I have one right here on this corner as well and there's that sidewalk click on it click on that location here again it's going to give me my uh, residuals if one does not work, I can turn that one off and then run off the smaller residuals. I usually like to do five, five or so points. So you will do this multiple times. And once you're happy with it, you will hit the geo reference button and it will take the entire point cloud, rotate it and move it where you want it to be. I can close out of the geo referencing tool. And now we can see here how all of our data lines up. And 
And that's really all that there is to georeferencing. If you do use targets uh, in perspective, you can shoot those targets in. There's a checkbox inside of perspective that has, that'll say use for georeferencing. And when you check that use for georeferencing, you have the option inside of there to put your target height in. So it'll automatically offset the point vertically down that, that uh, target height and actually create the point on the ground. If you forget to do that, um, or you shoot a tar or you don't shoot the target in, but you manage to scan the target in, there is another way around that, and I'll show you here that I'll show you that here now. Inside of your station view, if we open up one of these uh, near the building here, let's go to this one because it shows these signs. So if you're inside of your station view, and let's just pretend like this is one of your your targets and you go to CAD and you go to create point. So making sure this virtual DR is checked on, we can click and create a point on the center of a target. So it's gonna pour northern, easting and elevation. But if we know the height of that, if we know the height of the targets, so let's say it's five feet or four feet or whatever it is, at the elevation, if I type in like minus four, so four feet and I hit add, you'll see here it's going to generate the point four foot off of that sensor location. So that's actually how I will create targets or the actual target points on the ground whenever I have them because I like to use the same rods with the same consistent rod height as for every single target that I use for georeferencing. Um, in my experience, lower the better. Um, and I do use them quite regularly, just didn't happen to use them on this particular project here. But it's just important to know that as long as you have a point in the point cloud that you can easily get to and correlate that to a point that you actually shot in the field, your results could actually be really good. Um, like I said, the only thing we, I did here is I made sure to shoot in these hard corners and you can see how well that point ties into um, our project here. So we were plus or minus a few hundreds, uh, seven, seven hundreds or so uh, and as far as georeferencing. But we can see here all my call outs for my points are falling exactly where they belong and exactly where I shot them in the field. So everything looks good to me and I'd be comfortable moving forward with, with doing a drawing on this. I'm not saying this is the best and most accurate way to do it, but this is a way to do it. Most accurate way obviously is gonna be setting up targets over known control. Um, and those are, but the, 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 uh, the workflow is still the same regardless. So this is a relatively short video over georeferencing. Um, now that we have this thing georeferenced, the next video that we're going to do is going to be on um, point cloud cleanup. So we're going to be going over this whole section right here of regions. Um, there is a, a, a video in a similar light to that um, that I did about a year ago, but this one goes a little bit more into it because now we actually have the filter point cloud options here. Um, and also as the, uh, the, the extract point cloud regions uh, tool, I think has gotten a little bit better. So uh, see you on the next video.